Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to work on another tutorial and this one will be for making the templates for your uh, graphics on your models. Um, to give you an idea, this is my Western Star Hood that I've done. I showed it in another video, but uh, here it is again before I've uh, wet sanded the clear and everything out. Now that's all done with an airbrush. Um, and that's the graphic that I created and it also goes back to Caleb. Um, but to create that graphic uh, it's a pretty simple process. Um, there's a few do's and don'ts in it so we'll touch on those. Um, so this part here we're just basically gonna work on creating the mask for both sides of your project. Um, and this is only critical to create a mirror mask if you are wanting the same image on both sides of your model, um, if you're one of those people that look at it like you can only see one side at a time and you don't really want them to match, you don't need to do this procedure. Um, so what we're going to start with is I have a piece of mirror glass here on my workbench and I use that for a nice flat hard surface so I don't cut into my bench or anything. And I've got a piece of, uh, I think it's 80 thousandths or 100 thousandths plastic here. Um, and this is what we're going to be cutting on. Uh, you could also cut on this if you want to. I, I personally don't like cutting on glass um, to do this procedure. Uh, it doesn't allow the end of my knife blade to uh, kind of go where I want it to go. But, I mean, like I say, you can try it and see if it works for you. Uh, for me, this works better, so I'm going to show this procedure. Um, of course, we're going to use the 18 millimeter wide masking tape, and I'm going to make a graphic that is very similar to the one that I put on my Western Star, uh, just to keep this simple. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to tear off a piece of your masking tape, and the length of this will dictate... Um, like if you're doing, if you need a graphic that's six inches long, then you want to make your, your masking tape, uh, you know, seven to eight inches long, roughly in that neighborhood. Um, so I just pretty much put my masking tape down on my piece of plastic like that. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I want a start point for my graphic, which uh, when I did my Western Star Hood, it's actually where the grill sets into place. That is my start point for the graphic. Well, since I want those equal on both sides and, uh, you know, as far as height-wise, I want them the same, take your pen and just draw a line toward the end of your, your piece of tape here. And that's going to be a reference mark. Now, I'll show you what we're going to do with that a little bit later. Um, so all I did to, to create that graphic on the Western Star is I basically went in by hand and I'm not going to do as many as I did on that, but I just kind of drew my curves in and drew in my little drop parts. And like I say, it was all, all free handed on that. Um, so we're just going to do a something simple here. Got that drawn on there. Uh, let me hold it up here at the camera and get a little bit better view of it. That's what I've drawn on there. Okay. Now, on this graphic, what is above... I'll hold it up here where you can see what I'm talking about. What is above... Let me get the right vision here. This part of the graphic will be what the actual second color of your paint's going to be. This upper part of the graphic is your mask. That's the one that you're worried about the most. But if you're going to do this where you want an even graphic on each side, you need to pay particular attention and be careful with this bottom piece because we're going to need that here later on in the video. Um, so I've got a brand new number 11 in my hobby knife. Um, so you're just going to come in with that. And on your pencil line you had, you just want to follow that and cut it with your knife. And you want to make sure that this is clean and it's straight. You don't want to wave your knife around. Just follow your line nice and clean. And don't make too many overcuts. 
like as I go down and I get to the end of my pencil line there, I want to stop at that point. And then I want to start at the end of this other pencil line and basically connect those two. Once they connect, don't cut any further. Um, what that will do is give you a cut in your tape and it actually will allow the paint to bleed under and can cause you problems later on. So you don't want to do that. Um, so just take your time and cut this out very, you know, very accurate. And we got one more line here to cut. And there we go. We had that cut out. Now, the next thing that I do, the uh, part that's on the bottom side here, don't touch that yet. You want to lift up your actual mass that you're going to be using on your part. And you want to pull this back slowly. And with these zigzags and these little sharp edges, you got to make sure that you pull back slowly. That way, if you need to cut a little bit more with your knife, if you didn't actually connect your points together, um, you're able to go and do that. Like, actually, I have one right here. So I can go back in and just take that little, just take a little bit more off of it there. And this is something that will take a little bit of practice to get right. Um... You may mess up a couple of them, you know, trying to learn how to do this. Uh, it's just a matter of learning how to work with your particular masking tape. Like I say, I use Tamiya, and I highly recommend it. So what we have now is this part that I just cut out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lightly stick this back to the uh, plastic here so you can see what I'm doing. But this part that we just cut out and pulled up. This part here will be our mask. Um, where you see the white here, that's actually going to be what color you're going to spray on. Um, so this is actually going to be our mask. So that, that part of the mask is a done deal. Um, now, if you want to have that same exact design on the other side of your model, Basically, all you're going to do is take a piece of uh, copy paper. You can actually use trace paper or anything like that and a pencil. And you want to lay that over top of this piece of masking tape that's left down here. And everybody knows how to do this. When you, you, know, you rub your pencil back and forth over top of the edges of that masking tape, it's going to show a raised line or actually a darker line. So you just want to, and you don't want to move your paper once you have it down here. Make sure you hold it in the same position um, until you're done with, with uh, getting this line to transfer to your paper. Now there's other ways to do this. Uh, some of the one-to-one -one pro painter guys could probably do this another way. Um, this is what I use at, at my hobby bench. This is how I do my custom paint job. So that's the way I'm going to show you. Um, so what we have now is there's our graphic transfer onto that piece of copy paper. So we're going to set the plastic out of the way. And then, uh, actually I'm going to flip the plastic over here and use this for a cutting edge. Now, what we're going to do now is the same procedure that we've done on the um, masking tape. We're going to come back in and cut... this mask out just like we did on the masking tape but we're going to cut it out of the paper this time same procedure and you know this doesn't have to be a hundred percent dead accurate unless you want it to be um, because like you say you can only see one side at a time and if you get this pretty close side to side nobody will tell the difference um, so, I mean, you don't have to be exactly perfect with this, but, you know, try to keep it as clean as you can and as close to the line as you can, and it'll, it'll produce a, a lot better outcome for you. Okay, so what we have now, this is actually a mirror image of our mask that we cut out to use. We're not going to use this part. What we want is this part here, okay? Now, what you're going to do with that is you want to take this, and I'm going to get this mask here 
since we don't need that one anymore. Now, if you was going to do another section with the same design, you'd want to keep this so you can trace it again. Um, but we're going to get rid of that right now because we don't really need it. So what I do next is I'll come in with my pencil. And if you notice, I flipped this over. The way it's actually cut out is like this right here. So what I did, and, and another thing here, let me, before we go any further, let me, um, let me stress this. Uh, remember our reference mark that we put on? You want to transfer that reference mark to your piece of paper in the same position. So I'll show you the reference mark that we transfer there, that vertical line. Okay, and then if you make that dark enough, you can see through on the other side of your, your paper where that line is. Just draw back over it like that so you have, a, uh, you have that mark on the inside edge. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're just going to take that, and it lines up this way. We're going to flip it over. And when we flip it over, we're going to come in with our pencil. And we are going to follow the end of that line as close as we can. And like I say, this doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it as close as you can. Same thing with uh, when you were marking it. Don't, don't move the uh, paper until you're done with the whole um, outline of your graphic. Okay, so we're going to just mark that out just like that. Now, where that reference mark is right there, draw your line up past the end of the paper, and then we can take this out now because we don't need that anymore, and then transfer that line down a little bit. So now you have an exact opposite of what we cut out the first time. So we're going to take another piece of masking tape, and that reference mark that we have right here, make sure your tape goes over the end of that. And you want to take your tape and cover up your graphic marks that you have down. And I'll hold it up here and show you what we're doing. This is what it looks like when that line transfers through your Tamiya masking tape. So now we're going to repeat that same procedure that we did at first. We're just going to come in with our hobby knife and we're going to trace along that line. Just like we did the first time. Same thing. And same with this. You're going to be using this mask. So try not to overcut any of your edges. Try to just go point to point on your graphic. And I think we got all that. Now, where that line showed through, make sure you come back on top of your mask that you're going to use and mark that line on top of your mask. And then you want the upper part of this, just like we did before. We're not worried about the lower part, just the upper. So we're going to pull our tape up here if I can get a hold of it. Get my fingers to work today. There, well, almost. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull up that mask. And like I say, just be careful pulling this up. Um, so you don't tear up any of your edges or anything. We're almost there. Okay, we have that mask up. All right, I'm just going to stick that here to the side right now. Now I'm going to come back in. I'm going to take this out so I can show you what we've done here. Um, I'm going to get this excess mask out of the way here. And let me get rid of, uh, let me dull this line down a little bit here with the sanding stick so it doesn't show up quite as bad through the tape. Okay, we got that. Now, what we have created, and I'll go ahead and stick this down here. We have created the same graphic, a mirror image of it, for the other side of the truck. And now we have a left and right graphic. You can see the reference line right here 
for the one side and then the reference line right here for the other side. Um, now what I would do is take, you know, this line would line up against like the edge of where the grill goes. And when you get to the other side, that this line here would do the same thing. That'll give you a start and stop point. Um, you know, so that's basically what you're after. That, that is the technique for doing this. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not a hard procedure, but it's one that's going to take you a little bit of practice. So... But that's, you know, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, we're going to stop the tutorial on that part. And then what we'll do in the next one is I'm going to take these graphics and we'll stick them on the side of uh, our scrap body uh, that we're using, that Porsche body. And we'll go ahead and show you how to put those on there and mask off and shoot this, uh, this graphic on the side of the car. So uh, if you have any questions or concerns or anything, just leave me a comment on the video and I'll be more than glad to get back to you on that. And um, I thank you for watching this one and stay tuned for the next ones. Thank you. Bye-bye.